Anyway, uh, today is not an Aki day. Today is the final Ed day. I'm gonna do one last Ed stream and then I'm back on the Aki grind because truthfully, I don't have any plans to play this game, this character after today. He's not quite what I was expecting in both a good way and a bad way. I like what they've done with Ed in this game. I think he's definitely an improvement over SF5 Ed, but I just don't really vibe with him. He's a very weird mix of strong tools and weak tools, and I just don't know if the strong tools outweigh the weak tools or not. Another thing is, well, round start, driver sweep. Another thing about Ed is that like, to I think to play him well at high level, you need to have DPs on point, and my DPs are almost non-existent. What the fuck? Oh my god, that was my DP! It lost to a dive kick. That was an actual DP. Okay. I guess not. Getting juggles off Ed's light DP is so tough. You gotta do it so early. And even then, a lot of the follow-ups can miss if you're too far away horizontally. You can do light DP into EX, um, uh, whatever it's called, EX Blitz. But it's a little bit finicky. Stop. What? Oh, let's not throw invincible. I, I did wake up DP there. Because this guy is literally just doing hooligan over and over. Wake up DP loses to hooligan grab. Because it's a <laughs> it's not throw invincible, it's just air invincible. That's interesting. God. Walk up DI into DI. This cami is built different, man. Stop doing that, please. I'm begging you. Oh, it could have been level three. Excuse me? How did I get counter hit out of stand medium punch on the minus two? What is happening right now? Oh my god, what is blood doing? Holy shit. Alright. You'll keep an Ed in the pocket? No, I'm afraid not. The only thing that I can say is that I might enjoy jumping in training mode every now and again. And uh, just messing around with Ed combos. Because he is a fun training mode character. He's not that fun to play in matches. But he's definitely a fun training mode character. Because you can just do stupid shit with level 2. And it's just fun to just see what works.
any matchup you hate fighting with Ed so far. The Guile matchup has felt borderline unwinnable, but I don't know if that's just because I'm so new to Ed. But I don't see how Ed is supposed to fight Guile. Oh my god, that jab is so bad! Ugh. Another reason why I don't think I'll be playing Ed anymore is that his jab is abysmal. Like, whenever you chain, crouch jab, crouch jab, stand jab, it feels like you're rolling a roulette re wheel to decide if it's going to work or not. Especially now that Aki's jabs have been buffed, Ed's feel even worse by comparison. That was weird. Got hit crouching. Okay, weird combo. I don't know how a boxer has one of the worst jabs in the game. It would be fine. His jabs would be fine if his crouch jab was special cancelable. It's just the fact that you have to chain into stand jab. That's the super inconsistent one. gonna keep telling teleporting at me from full screen Damn it. 
I need a better combo for that. I need a good combo for if I check him doing that. I'm new to Street Fighter and fighting games in general. I'm looking for someone to pick up that is decent for learning the fundamentals. Looking at Ryu and Ken currently, any recommendations? Uh, my recommendation is always to just pick whichever character you think looks cool. Don't worry too much about... Street Fighter players love to overstate the value of like honest fundamentals, but just play who you think looks cool. There's no wrong answer in this game. Fundamentals, yeah, Fundamentals is not a character archetype. It's a play style. Like, you can play like a crack addict with Ryu and Ken. And a lot, a lot of people do that. That was a really bad combo. I don't know why I spent level 3 on that. Oh shit, final hit. Okay. I'm kind of screwed here. I'm going to do charge first to get out of the corner. That's my only option here. There we go. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I was not expecting that to kill. I was just doing that for burnout. Whoa, why does that have no wh whiff recovery? Empty jump SPD? Okay. What? <laughs> I've never seen a Geef player not take Oki there. What? Wake up SPD in the middle of the fireball string? Now this guy's built different. He's Okay, he's built different. Wake up SPD in the middle of the fireball. The gap between the first and second. Alright, I, I need to focus. Hold on, hold on. He hit me with it. <laughs> oh, 
my god. He's got Adzias as well. I'm so terrified of this Geef right now. I mean, I, I have nothing to say about that. I can't even hit that. Like, when I when I lost to that Kami player a minute ago, I was actively mad. After the match, I was, like, mad about the decision-making, but I actually respect the shit out of this Geef. I'm not even mad about that. I got outplayed so hard. He is reading me on an existential level. I... The taunt as well? Oh my god. This Geef. This Geef. Uh, I got stuck in the stance. I got stuck in the stance. Oh my god. Alright, focus. Be cool. He just wakes up with SPD in the middle of strings. Alright. There's no way. I can't even DP anymore. I've forgotten how to anti her. I'm so mind broken right now. What was he cooking? If I lose after that... Uh, oh! No. That's the first time I've ever sent a friend request in the history of Street Fighter 6. It even, I don't know if you guys heard that, I got a Steam achievement for that. I've been playing this game for nine months, I've never sent a friend request. You deserve it, honestly, take my points. Take, take as many points as you want. characters with unusual kits like Ed in Season 2 or just some fan favorites with their old conventional stuff. I don't know, I feel like I, I want more technical characters for sure, like Ed is definitely a move in the right direction in that regard, but I just feel like if you're gonna make a character that plays nothing like the previous version, why even call it Ed? Like to me, you might as well just make this a new character. Just introduce a new character called Jeff. Like there are some characters in this game where they feel like they're kind of an evolution um, of uh, previous 
like versions of that character like here's a good example like uh dj D dj in this game still has the feeling of dj that he always did in previous games but they completely like expanded his kit and made him feel unique it's still dj at the core Ev even with all the new shit that he has in this game it's still dj it's just an expanded version of dj but in the case of characters like ed he just has nothing in common it, like in terms of gameplay feel with sf5 ed so it's sort of like why would you what why what's the point in you know doing ed again if you're gonna just completely change him i feel like either uh, like expand on the existing character or make a new character but completely retooling them is just weird to me all right i'm done for the day thank you very much to everyone who tuned in